All you see is good. All you see is good. Everything is good. Everything's good. That's like watching the TV and somebody get killed. It's good. It's good. They didn't sin. But it's like they pick and choose which sins they consider evil and which sins they don't, they turn a blind eye to. Do you understand, people? Why do people do this? You understand? They can recognize lying as a sin, but not gossip. Hmm. They can recognize adultery as a sin, but not fornication. I hear some people all the time, you know, I don't wanna, I ain't gonna stop having sex with other people until I get married. So basically you saying, fornication ain't as bad as adultery. Wow. I don't know where people get these things from. I don't know why they do it. Well, I guess it is what it is. One of my favorite sayings in the world, it is what it is. We all try to cover up our sins sometimes, try to justify it. Well, they did it to me, so I'm gonna do it to them. Nah, that's not justify sin. Sin is not justifiable. It's not something that's, you just do and think it's okay. If you feel sin is okay, how can you repent? You know, I try to cover a lot of things. Gluttony, drunkenness, fornication, adultery, lying, stealing. You know, bearing false witness is one of the sins that goes on rapid right now. Watch the news. How much false witness goes on in the news? Get on Facebook. Look how much false witness goes on on Facebook. So many lying, so many tearing down people's character through words. And people overlook that. <laughs> I ain't killed nobody. But I just destroyed somebody's whole life with words. That's murder. Bullying. False witness. Wow. But people don't look at it like that. They love to point out murder. Stealing. They don't really focus too much on lying that much. <laughs> They don't really focus too much on eating too much, gluttony. They'll talk about drunkenness, but not eating too much. They don't, want to, they don't really talk about that. I don't get it. Sin is sin. There's no greater than the other. Yeah, there are some that God says are straight abomination. Abomination means he hate that joke. But sin is still sin. In order to be cleansed, you got to recognize your faults. You have to. I have to recognize mine. Like I said, when I first became a Christian, I was so self-righteous, it was ridiculous. God took everything from me. Alcohol, profanity, everything known to man, he took it. And I became one of the worst people you'll ever meet. Because I thought I was just better than everybody. Pride. I grew prideful. And I'm kind of glad right now I got flaws. You know why? Flaws keep me from making other people look like trash. <laughs> Pharisee-like. Why are you sitting with sinners? I know the Bible's confusing. Don't be unequally open with non-believers. Non-believers and sinners are not the same. And he said, don't keep company with such people. That's what he said. He said, don't keep company with such. If you got a job to do, you got a job to do. If God want to send you over there to minister, keep it company. It's like doing something every day. Let's keep it company. On a mission, it's like you're in, you're out. Let's keep it company. The people you hang around. If you ain't trying to save them, and you still doing the same thing around them, let's keep it company. Right? Jesus said with sinners to try to convert them and heal them. Not to be like them. 
You understand? But you a sinner too. It's hard to understand. But you got to recognize sin. You got to recognize your faults. You know, I love the Bible. But I'm going to tell you one thing that not really bothers me, but it's like most people read the Bible, they're like, this is how they were every day of the day. You're a human being. You walk the earth. You know how things are. It's some things you can't understand until you go through it. Until you walk. That's why they said the Bible says a lot of things that be written in this book. If if I was to write everything that was written in the book, no words, can, no book could contain it. That's what John said. It's too much in that Bible. It's too much to know. But that's where the Holy Spirit come into play. Because some things you only learn by trial and error. That's the only time you learn it. Trial and error. Why? Because it's a book. It's a guidebook. It tells you the basics. It don't tell you everything. It tells you the basics. It tells you how to get started. Then the Holy Spirit comes in and helps you even further. You know, you can get a video game and get a book and tell you how to do most of it. Everything there. But then you'll find out some new stuff. Just like if you're a brick mason. They teach you this way. Then you find a different way. They still get you the same result. But it's not like a different way like you changing the whole concept of how to make mortar. Still making the mortar the same. You may just do it different from the next man. Just like we all sin different. The, the problem with the world is not sin. It's people scared to be judged. You can't judge me. You know, if we would take criticism and take judgment, we will become better people. But people don't like to recognize their sin. They'll recognize somebody else's faults. You ever sit around when people gossip? Me included, sometimes I have gossiped before. When you sit around and gossip, you'll point out flaws for somebody else. You sit there and point out their flaws. You know they are. Uh, you know, my name been torn through the mud this year. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> some of it's true. Some of it's not. Who are you? You know what I'm saying? But I'm not afraid to confess it. I'm not going to deny it anything. If it's right and it's correct, I'm going to admit the fact. But if it's wrong... I'm not going along with it. It's just me. Because no lies of God. So why would I lie and say I did something I didn't? Mm -hmm. Right? That's a lie. And no lies of God. Did you cheat on your wife? No. <laughs> no. Now, if you want to think otherwise, you're the liar. Are you the false witness? It's simple. I'm not confessing to something I haven't done. Did you ever put your hands on your wife? Yes. No need to lie. I'm not perfect, people. But I'm going to spread this word. That's what he called me to do. Nowhere in the word it said, wait till you're perfect to spread the gospel. Let me pause and I will continue.